Hello everyone and welcome back to Wario Land 4. So, before we get the showboat on the road... You know what? I was going to say, so let's just get this on. And done. My memory's kind of vague with this a little. It's been a while since I last played this. As of recent, new footage for Mario and Sonic at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics have been revealed. And it shows Wario without a shirt. Alongside Eggman without a shirt. Help. And I still remember his swimwear getup, which is pretty much Eggman in his speedo. I'm frightened what Wario's will look like. Oh, hello! Well, that worked. Oh, I had an idea. Also, I kind of read the manual, the original manual, I found it online, and once again, Mario has always come through with the humor on that. I 
second. Yeah, that's what they're called, according to the manual. Okay, this just got interesting. Yeah, Wario gains all kinds of abilities from uh, getting hurt or reacting to certain things. Kind of his way of uh, Mario's power up since uh, first Wario Land. And it's been around since like Wario Land 2. That's their kind of little spin on uh, Wario getting abilities, special techniques like this. Rather than Mario getting one from an item, Wario gets one from an enemy. Makes sense, because Wario's pretty much the, the anti Mario. Well, Mario's opposite.
So, like, the only time Wario had, like, power-ups like Mario's was in the first Wario Land game and, uh, Virtual Boy Wario Land. Other than that, Wario has been using, uh, like, a uh, reaction he gets from his enemies or from the environment in, in different forms of power. Another sapphire. So yeah, sends the part for now. See you around, everyone. Goodbye and thank you for watching.